What's going on guys? In this video we are going to see how to find out the Laplace transform of square root of t. Now in order to solve this problem we have to know one of the thing that is Laplace transform of 1 over square root of t is equivalent to square root of phi over square root of s. Okay. Um, Laplace transform of t f of t is also equivalent to uh, negative d by ds f of s. Now Laplace transform of um, la here we are trying to find a Laplace transform of square root of t. Now here you can see this function. How can we turn this one into this pattern? t times, if you think about it, t times 1 over square root of t. I'm bringing into this function. t times 1 over square root of t. t is what? If you multiply square root of t times square root of t, you will get t. So if you replace that with t with this, 1 of the square root of t to a square root of t cancels, and we will end up getting square root of t. So we can also say this whole thing is equivalent to Laplace transform of square root of t. Square root of t. Now, the reason for bringing this pattern is to apply this this thing. This thing. This is a general thing we have to know in in some kind of questions like this. Laplace transform. <coughs> okay, Laplace transform of t times one over square root of t. Now, instead of this. You can see this f of t is the function. Other than that, this t will be replaced with negative d by ds. So negative d by ds, and uh, we will have 1 over square root of t. Instead of 1 over square root of t, the f of s, the Laplace transform is already there. Square root of phi over square root of s. Square root of phi over square root of s. Square root of s is s power half. If I bring to the top, that's s power negative half. Okay. Now you can see we can find that we can we have to just differentiate this one with respect to s. And uh, square root of phi is a constant, so it remains the same. Minus, and if we find the differentiation, this one over two square root of phi s power negative three by two. And Laplace transform of square root of t is going to be square root of phi divided by 2 s power 3 by 2. Here s should be greater than 0. And, uh, and that's it. This is our final answer. That's how we do this kind of problems. I hope you guys find this video helpful. Thanks for watching and see you next time.